Hi guys, in this video, I will be filling my noodleless ink into my Lamy All Star. The reason why I got the Lamy All Star is because it costs about $60. The Lamy Safari costs $48, which is about $12 less. But when I was at the Lamy store earlier on and uh, I held on to this pen as well as the Lamy Safari, the Safari doesn't feel like it's worth the $48 that it's asking for. Whereas this All Star, since it's made of aluminium and has a bit of that premium feel, a bit of that. Mm, expensive look to it uh, this one feels like it's more value for its money also when I bought this pen I bought an additional converter this one was an additional nine dollars with this converter I can feel fill my Lamy pen with uh, any ink that I please so right now, we're going to go ahead and fill the pen with this ink. The ink that I bought is the NT Tem one. What I actually wanted to get is the Noodler's Inks Apache Sunset, but they don't have it here in the, in the shop. So I got this one, which looks quite close enough to the Apache Sunset one. So I just need to open the cap and we dip. First, we need to make sure that the pump is in the down position. So it's right now. In the up position, we want to go down so that when we pull it up, it will create some kind of a suction that will draw the ink into the reservoir. Dip the entire thing in, and first time round, not much ink went along with it, so we have to do it twice. much better this time round so we need to do it twice and this time round uh, most of the ink got into the reservoir just gonna cover this it's the expensive ink we don't want to waste a single drop now now that I've got it filled in I screw it back in get a piece of tissue paper oops we don't want to drop the pen not especially since it's new and the nibs apparently damage quite easily if you drop it right what I have with me is my Rhodia dotted paper so what you're seeing is me writing on my newly bought Lamy pen for the very first time. I'm just going to write a few strokes and it's really nice. But because the nib is fine, there's not much shading that you can tell. Oops, there I go, uh, making a mistake with my R again. So 
so the thing with cursive is you must have a start and an end all right so i'll be honest um because the nib is fine it's not thick enough to create or show the shading the potential of the beauty of this ink uh, i believe if i had gotten a medium or something broader a, a calligraphic nib maybe then the shading would be a lot more obvious now i'm going to write my favorite word uh, there's a little bit of skipping and this annoys me quite a bit this integrity oops all right let's do that one more time there you go integrity another word maybe we can try writing uh hello uh, every time i go to the pen shop this uh happens to be the word that I will always write. Let's try the C my Z uh, again uh, it, it's a bit of a getting used to to write uh, cursive Z the quick brown fox jumps over the lazy uh, dog right so uh, admittedly this is not quite the best of handwritings uh, like I said before in my earlier videos this is probably my first week of uh, being of, of playing around and and uh, writing cursive so it's still very raw and unrefined but from my experience with this pen so far it depends a lot on the angle of contact between the nib and the paper because there is a sweet spot where it writes super smoothly and then if you go beyond a certain angle there uh, the ink tends to skip quite a bit i don't know i i guess i should have gone with the medium one but that's all right i can't quite see the shading of the ink uh, i might consider getting the calligraphic nib the 1.5 mm one and then I will then again uh, play with this ink and hopefully it will look a lot better. Thank you for watching this video. And if you like this video, don't forget to subscribe.